Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Deck and if you enjoy talking about movies and TV in any way, shape or form, you're going to feel right at home here. And in today's video, we're going to be reviewing and breaking down Altered Carbon Season 2. So Altered Carbon Season 2 takes place around 30 years after the first season and we find Takeshi Kovach woken in a new slave and this time is now working to find his old lost love, Kel, who he had lost many years ago. Now that's all I'm really going to say in regards to the plot just because I really don't want to give away too much about this season because what I liked about season 2 of Alter Carbon is that we didn't really know that much going into it. All we knew is that we were getting a new lead actor and we knew that we were going to be revolving the story around Kel in some way shape or form. And I really appreciated that secrecy because there is so much going on in this season that really surprised me. Now, as a fan of Alter Carbon, I was a huge fan of the first season. I loved that season. It just kind of came out of nowhere and took me by surprise. It's like this cool cross between Blade Runner and the Ghost in the Shell. It was just a really awesome show that really took me by surprise. I was so excited about season two. And, you know, I went in with a lot of high expectations. I didn't expect this season to be as good as the first season. But for me, it completely surpassed my expectations. So let's start off with the elephant in the room, which is, of course, Anthony Mackie as Takeshi Kovach. Of course, we did have Joel Kinnaman portray him in the first season. But now we have Anthony Mackie as him in the second season. How was he? He was great. Anthony Mackie, he's an awesome act uh, actor. We all love him. Of course, he plays Falcon in the MCU. And he's just a really great actor overall. We all love him. And he is very, very likable as Takeshi Kovacs. This is a really cool role for him. He plays it in a way that does feel similar to how Kinnaman played it, but also different in his own way. He had his own ticks. He had his own kind of, you know, instances to it. He had his own sort of mannerisms that he added to it, which made his performance as Kovacs feel unique unique and interesting in comparison to Kinnaman and also in comparison to Will Yun Lee who of course plays the original Kovacs who also does return in the season. So we do get a really good differentiation with him and I think that overall he just delivers a really strong performance. This actually might be one of my favorite performances from Anthony Mackie that I've seen over the years because I just really liked him as Kovacs. He was a really cool character and I just think he really added a lot to Kovacs as a character especially because he really sold his emotion when it came to the character of Kel. Uh, Kel is a really important character in this season, really central, really focused and there's a lot of emotion and a lot of history between these two characters. And I think Anthony Mackie really sold that history to the audience. Another big standout from this season is Chris Connor as Poe. Of course, Poe was kind of the fan favorite character coming out of season one. Everyone loved him. And he gets a really great and personal story in this season. I wasn't expecting him to kind of go on his own as he does in this season. He's still very much involved in the major storyline with Kovacs, but he does have his own little personal journey and his own sort of personal history that he's going through because he has his own issues going on in the season. And I really appreciate Appreciated that because it needed, you know, Poe was a really good side character, but he really needed stuff to kind of make him his own. And this season really brings him to the forefront and brings him into his own character. So by the end of this season, he really feels fully fleshed. And when we go into season three, which it's not been renewed for season three yet, but hopefully it will, I think we're going to see Poe really become maybe one of the better characters on the show. And we do have a couple of other standout performances as well, like Renee Goldsberry as Kel was really great. It was awesome to have her back here again. She has a kind of minor role in the first season and you kind of learn things about her. But in this season, she is just completely in the forefront and it's great. She's fantastic in this. I really loved her performance. She's just fun as this character. And again, the character of Kel is just really interesting. Like she has so much history. She has so much awesome development in this season. Her history with Kovacs is great. And I love how they are just able to explore her backstory and where she came from, what she did, and what her mission is now, and how her story is kind of intertwined into Kovacs' story, it was just really well written. I thought it was really well handled as well, and I loved her performance as well. Also, Simone Missick, who you may know as Misty Knight from Luke Cage, she also makes an appearance in this season as well, and she was another great addition for me. I really enjoyed her character. She had that kind of sassy and bossy mannerisms that she kind of delivered as Misty Knight in Luke Cage, but obviously with a bit more of a futuristic twist, and that was really cool. Again, her character was great, and the way that they kind of used her character throughout the story, I also really appreciated. And special shout out to, I mentioned it before, but Will Young Lee as Kovach Prime, as he's called in this. Really great. I mean, Will Young Lee is just awesome in this show. Like, he is the original OG Kovach, and when he shows up in this season, you're not going to believe it. What surprised me the most about this season, though, was how much I was into the villains. The villains in the first season were there, but they weren't exactly the most prevalent villains, and they weren't exactly the most exciting villains either. This season really nailed it home with the villains. I mean, I think when you look at a character like Carrera, he kind of comes in and just really steals the show, especially because the way he kind of introduces William Lee's character is really exciting. And I really loved how his character was used. And once you find out more about him, who he is and where he came from, 
it gets really, really interesting. And also Danica Harlan, who of course is now the ruler of Harlan's world, Kovacs' homeland, was a really great villain as well because her determination and her drive to kind of go for what she's going for, I'm trying to be very vague here, uh, to kind of do what she wants to do, you can see that she is just twisted and very evil and what she's trying to do you can just see she needs to be stopped. And again, I think that the performance was great. She really sold it and I loved her as a villain. She genuinely felt like an actual real threat. I think my favourite thing about season two of Alter Carbon was how they were able to reduce the episodes. This is an, an eight episode series and that was so refreshing. I mean, the first season was, I believe, 10 episodes and that was fine. But I think that Netflix recently has really been able to dial back episodes because they've been going with these, you know, 13 episode long seasons, which are just too long, quite frankly. And what I really liked about this uh, season going down to eight episodes is that it was able to deliver quicker storytelling that was, you know, it just improved the pacing and improved the storytelling overall because it was able to just be more tight, more compact and more well written as they didn't have to stretch out any storylines. They didn't have to stretch out particular sequences to extend the runtime. It was just all perfectly handled within eight episodes and I think it just proves that this is why Netflix should stick to doing eight to ten episode seasons because again if they go any bigger than that they just tend to really get boring after a little while depending on the show whereas with this this season absolutely blew by and the action really steps up in this season it was good in the first season I think that Joel Kinnaman did a really good job of handling the action but I think that what we get in this season it just steps it up even more the choreography and the fight scenes are much more creative and much more well executed this time around which make them a lot more interesting to watch and it's a shame really because Kinnaman could have been really good in these scenes if he had stuck around this season obviously I think Kinnaman probably would have come back this season but I think the writers had different um you know different ideas I think that if we do get a season three of Alter Carbon Mackie won't return we'll get another actor or potentially actress to uh, portray Kovach. Um, but I think that, you know, it was really cool to see the action in this season really step up, especially because Will Young Lee, who also gets a more substantial role in this season, really gets to shine in these action sequences. And he is just badass as always. So the action, again, was a big step up from the first season, which I really enjoyed. And the VFX absolutely blew me away in this season. This is one of those shows that you watch and you go, how is this TV? Like the way this looks for TV, like this is honestly not far off some of the bigger budget sci-fi movies out there. I mean, I'm not going to go as far as to say this is on the level of Blade Runner 2049, but you can definitely see those inspirations throughout it. You can definitely see that this is pulling those kind of elements and the way it just illustrates them on a TV screen on a TV budget, it's absolutely insane. We all know Netflix has big budgets for their shows and they always put all, a lot of their money that they get straight back into their shows. But it just blows me away when you see a show like this and you just see how incredible it looks. It's just unlike anything else and I was completely floored by it. Overall though, Alter Carbon Season 2 did not disappoint. I was expecting it to maybe be a bit of a worse season and while I'm still not 100% sure about which season I prefer, I still had an absolute blast with this season. And I think the fact that it tells you, given how much I love the first season, that I'm still, you know, weighing them up, I think tells you how good season two is. I think that the reduced episode length really does wonders for the show. Mackie is really good uh, as Kovach. And, you know, if you're wondering who I prefer, I think I do prefer Joel Kinnaman as Kovach. It might just be because he was the, you know, kind of OG Kovach for the show, but... I just really did his, enjoy his performance, and I do believe it is Joel Kinnaman's best performance. But Mackie is really strong in this, really good. And to be honest, objectively speaking, he might be the better choice for the actor. But I think that all the elements come together in just the right way for this season, which really make it just that little bit better than season two, if I'm being honest. And I think that while season one is an absolutely phenomenal season, season two, I think it just tops it a little bit. I think, I think it just about tops it. But season two absolutely blew me away did not disappoint me i was expecting it to but it didn't it was worth the wait and it was a long one but it was worth the wait and overall i had an absolute blast with it and you should definitely check it out on netflix if you haven't already so have you guys seen alter carbon season two if you have make sure you let me know all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below did you enjoy it did you not did you think it was better than the first season or do you prefer the second make sure you let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below and as always guys if you want to see more tv reviews and tv related videos just like this one be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me and i hope to see you guys again next time